one. I find myself in the basement, oddly inflamed with sunlight. Ephemeral rays stretch out across the ceiling and walls, taking the form of various shapes that almost feel like spirits, whispering me to step out of my darkness to integrate, burn, resurrect. Two. The issue is that really, I am dead. Nothing works anymore. And I'm trying to push through to resurrect, restructure, reassimilate, but no one sees that. They're not going to house me while I'm dying. Why should they? I still have to do things as it happens. I have to be active. They're not going to allot me the time to experience it fully, rationally, come to terms with it. Hospice care for a 20-year-old doesn't exist. It's not a thing. To them, I'm just sitting here in the house, young and able-bodied with a desire for nothing, not wanting to work or go to school, lying across the couch in broad daylight, needing to have the sheets ripped off of me like a bandage to start my day. Three. I can't take a picture of the moon. I'm phoneless. What am I supposed to do at this moment? The halo around her body, the first time I ever felt her rays. The window can't block her message. She's here staring right at me, but I can't have her. I admitted defeat once. Do I have to do it twice? I cried to the artist with her work on display. I didn't know I had that kind of empathy in me. I'm, in, I'm surprising myself more and more every day. Four. Every blue moon, I show up at home, go into every room, build up momentum, spiral, lose control, crash and burn, eventually giving into sleep, leaving messes. I rise out of the couch, claw my way through knitted blankets, pull the debris off my body, and feel my blood return to me. Five. Playing with fire, barking up the wrong tree, pheromones lingering, the hug alone, an equally revelatory experience, tells me to fall into this, fall into this creativity. Six. A dive deep into the depths of a frenzy. The nature of life is codependency. I can't, and then I can, be made to be this elastic, one and the same, and then arise to the surface. Thanks. Thanks, Keenan Bryce.